Morning YouTube, Joel here. Uh, out playing in the neighbor's yard across the way again. Been out here trying to take the bark off of this tree. It's nasty, covered in vines. Using an old draw knife that uh, I've had lying around. I tried using a pike and a uh, long pole scraper to do this, but to no avail. It was hard, difficult, didn't want to come. But the, uh, the draw knife is doing a pretty good job. I've gotten an awful lot accomplished on it in, uh, in just the last few minutes that I've been working with it. Problem with it is it's too short. It's about an eight or 10 inch draw knife and I need about a 12, 14 inch, something a little bit wider because the girth on this log is just too big to do with the small draw knife that I've got. I've got a little bit. I'm going to have to turn it to uh, get what I can, um, but I'm just going to have to work with it. And the reason for doing this is because the, the, the bark and all the dirt and everything that's in it has a tendency to dull a chainsaw. So <clears throat> in the effort of saving on chainsaws and sharpening all the time and everything, it's just better to knock off the bark as before I start cutting with it. Uh, still have plenty to do. Uh, it's Monday, uh, January 30th. Day eight of the challenge, by the way, and uh, some even better news. I've got two subscribers now. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, I know who you are. Well, I think I know who you are, but you're hidden from uh, me being able to see. But there's only two people commenting on my channel, so I have a pretty good idea who you are. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Keep commenting. I appreciate that. Let me know what you think. Uh, but like I said, I've, in the last video, I've still got an awful lot to do. I'll give you an idea. I'll give you a little walk around their property. Um, the company that came out and took down the trees that had been uh, knocked down in a storm really did them a disservice. They left a bunch of stuff just lying all over the place. This big pile of branches, twigs, leaves, everything, instead of cutting it up and taking it with them, they just left it here for the uh, for my neighbors. And they're not capable of doing it. Um, the husband is in uh, bad shape physically and uh, health-wise. The wife is always working. She's about to retire in the next five years, but you know, this is six acres of property that needs to be uh, cleaned up and maintained, and they just don't have the wherewithal to do it. So I do whatever I can to help them out. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of property. Actually, uh, my wife's grandparents had this property back in the 70s. Uh, they purchased this property over here, all the property down there all that even the property that we're sitting on right now uh, was theirs uh, they owned all of this and they parceled it off and sold it in fact they used to have a trailer that sat right here uh, until they uh, were not weren't able to maintain it and went into a nursing home and then eventually passed away unfortunately they were beautiful people I loved them um, loved them dearly but anyways <coughs> this is the entire piece of property it's about six acres that needs to be maintained um, and so I'm going to help them out with that as much as I can there's another tree that has gone down that we've been trying to cut up now that I've got the mill I'm going to try milling it another piece of white oak Pretty popular out here. This is what we've been doing, playing around. Other people have been coming out here and uh, getting firewood. That's not a problem. If they need it, it helps uh, my neighbors out. I need to try to talk about that trailer so that I can turn it into a uh, log skitter so I can get some of this big stuff out of here. But 
we got a lot of old growth oaks or probably second growth they're at least a hundred years old if not older um, beautiful trees but not very well maintained a lot of the branches have died coming down and uh, they just need to be taken care of and I, I have about five trees on this property I need to take down that one way over there I'm thinking that one the second one furthest in the distance by the road I'm thinking the one on the corner definitely that one over there the big one on the other side of the pile uh, get that taken care of for them and haul it off unlike the company that did this that's just unacceptable you know if they charged them anything they overcharged them for it I don't know if they did or not but it's just the wrong way to do business uh, as Buck and Billy Raid says service if you're in the service industry do the job right treat your customers right my in-laws are having a roof put on their house the roof that they had on the house was only three years old people came out and did it didn't do a very good job it started leaking and they wouldn't warranty it now they're having to pay to have it done again not acceptable not cool not good but anyways that's neither here nor there I don't think you want to hear me rambling and ranting about that. If you do, comment, let me know. Tell me what you think. But anyways, uh, got a bunch of stuff to do around the house. Uh, work called me today, said they canceled my load, and so took the day, took the opportunity to try to get some of the stuff accomplished that needs to be done around the house that I don't really have enough time for on a two-day weekend that I have. So I'm thinking about taking a vacation up here soon. Uh, to try to get some of this stuff accomplished. I got a lot of stuff. Uh, waiting on the mailman right now to bring me my, uh, my, my McCulloch Super 70, uh, 797. Should be here shortly, between now and 2 o'clock. Uh, check it out, see what needs to be done with it. If it needs to be serviced, I'll take it to the uh, small engine shop that's in, the, uh, in our small town. Uh, have them do it. They're they have ability to do it where I have the ability to do it but I don't have the time to do it uh, it's one of those things if I get it tore down uh, inspected checked out and find out what I need order the uh, parts for it and a carburetor rebuild kit and everything like that waiting on the parts it'll stay tore down it'll stay that way for years probably because if it gets if it's out of my mind it's it's out of my sight it's out of my mind and I don't think about it especially if I'm waiting on parts or something like that and uh, so it's just easier for me to take it to them have them do it and uh, they charge me a fee for it I'm supporting a small business in the area and uh, so I'll get my chainsaw back and I'll have a running chainsaw and I'm probably going to put that uh, 380 or the 797 in the uh, the mill make it uh, the permanent fixture in it that way I have the uh, echo for anything else that needs to be done taking down trees taking down branches limbs and things like that uh, I've got a bar coming from Rich the chainsaw guy in uh, Myrtle Creek in Oregon he gave me a really good deal it's about a 38 40 inch bar he wasn't specific on what it was he said I'm just he, he just said it was an old uh, bar probably in Oregon roller nose He's got a bar and chain coming for the chainsaw, so I should be set up. I should be ready to rock and roll. Yeah, kish. But anyways, that's what I got going on. Uh, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button somewhere in, a, in that area right there, somewhere. Uh, if you have any comments, let me know. Tell me what you think. Uh, more than willing to communicate with you, talk with you, hear what you have to say, see what you think I should do. Walking off a cliff is not an option, though. All right, y'all have a good one. Bye.